Hi everybody, um, right what we're going to do today, basically if I haven't got any sewing I, to show you I'd make you a quick video don't and that's what's been happening over the last couple of weeks but what's going to happen now, the new class starts tomorrow and as they get images of work in progress you'll eventually get to see that on the blog, it's just I can't show you that before they see it, um, but in the meantime I'm going to have to be working on something in tandem with what I'm working on in class. I'm just going to pull in a bit. I'm going to have to be working on something in tandem. I'm on my ironing board here so it might be a bit wobbly. Um, so I've been just gathering a few bits together this morning. Um, my daughter's here for the weekend but she's just gone to the gym with a friend. So I'm on my own. Uh, so I thought I'd just put this together for you. Now what I wanted to do, first of all, I'll just move these. I was thinking maybe putting something together using these fabrics. This is lace cloth that I've made myself. This is a new cotton that I bought. Now I've pressed that and it's gone a bit bobbly. But what I wanted to say about this, somebody asked me on Facebook the other day if I launder my fabrics, my vintage and my new before I join them. And I have to say I never launder anything. Don't launder any fabric unless I buy something vintage that is very soiled and even having said that I tend to avoid vintage that looks soiled okay now I bought this this is a scrap of vintage and it wasn't soiled but it was when you get it sometimes it smells a bit doesn't it so I laundered that for example but normally I don't launder anything I've got this here this is a piece of vintage it doesn't smell it's fine, so I won't, won't launder that. I don't launder anything basically unless I really, really have to. And the thing about this is they then said, because some cloth's got a finish on it, and it does, and this cotton is a case in point, but I like it. It's almost crisp like paper like, and I like to work on that surface. Now, the thing with what I do, I don't, I'm never going to make anything that's going to be laundered put in the washing machine. I'm never going to make anything like that. So shrinkage doesn't apply to me. If I'm making a pouch or a pillow or even a wrapping cloth, they're not going to go in the washing machine. So it doesn't matter about the finish, getting the finish out. Okay, so I never launder anything unless it's really smelly or dirty. So, but then I, so I thought I'd put a bit together, something together, or start to put something together with these. And then I thought, I've still got these ongoing. This needs to be damp stretched. These have been going for quite a while. Do you remember? I did it with another class. And it was this background that requires this piece of lace that I'm making to be finished that actually goes beautifully over the top of that but equally will look lovely on the side of this. Okay, so I'm thinking I'm going to be working on these, these two things. Um, this has got cross stitch roses on with French knot groupings. Uh, it's a disgrace, it really needs damp stretch. Um, so I need more, I can see holes, and I'm sure you can, where I need more motifs on there. So that needs to be got on with. And then this lace all needs to be hand stitched everywhere, you know, to make that more structured and, you know, more of a piece of work. So that will be happening, I think, in tandem with my new class. So let's just see if I can put something together here. I think this might be a bit big. I think I'll cut it a bit big. I don't know what it's for. I don't know what it'll be. But I'm going to start with it. To be honest with you, I'm getting a bit fed up of making pillows. Because I don't... I don't know. They don't inspire me. I need to make something else. Then actually, I've just this minute had a thought. Now, my new class is embroidered pockets. Um, so... I'm going to be making different kinds of pockets in class, but the pockets I made for London, for example, you've seen them, so maybe I could try and make this into something like that, uh, a little pocket like that. So if I... This is nice fabric, somebody sent me this. I've got so many lovely things. So if I put this here, use that whole piece there as that edge, okay, and then... That's beautiful, I love that. That could go there. And basically that's it. And then just have some lace cloth at the other side. But then it's going to be what I do with this that will be telling. I actually do think this is a bit big, this bit of fabric here. Um, but we'll see. I'll just press that and then it gives me a nice hem. Okay. And then that can sit under there. 
without any work doing to it. So that can go under there. And I don't really want to use... And this lace cloth, you can cut this, you know, and it doesn't fray. So if I... What I'm going to do, I think... I'm going to cut a little bit of this. I'm not going to use a massive amount of this. Pull it in so you can see. Uh, just to give myself a straight edge. And that, I'll keep that because I'll use that in more lace cloth in the future. So on another straight edge here. Or maybe I won't have a straight edge here. Maybe follow the line round of the edge of where I've stitched. Keeping an eye on this to see how high I need to go. So maybe there. Right, and then just to there I'm doing this by eye so I'm hoping it's straight as much as it can be and then bring this back and put that there like that and then something else for here I'll get another piece of this because I've got some more of this so let's, I love fabric that's got straight lines in it. It makes life so much easier, doesn't it? I had a wonderful birthday. Thank you, everyone. I've got so many messages on Facebook and email and on my blog. An amazing time. And in terms of cake, my son bought me six cupcakes. Uh, and I only ate one of those. Four of them were eaten. Me, my husband, my daughter, and my daughter's friend all had one. Um, because James isn't here and he's gone to Barcelona on a stag do or a bachelor party, whichever. So there's two left cupcakes. We went out last night and had a really nice meal. I had beef and blue cheese. It was lovely. Um, and my daughter's friend came with us as well. So it was Paul, my husband, and Helen, my daughter, and Danielle, who is Helen's very good friend and who when Helen got married she was Helen's witness um, put this under here so she came too so it was, it was lovely I had a lovely evening and then we came home and watched the Eurovision Song Contest now I don't like this and do you know why do you want to take a guess because that's in the middle and I don't like the middle so what am I going to do I'm going to shake it up a bit I'm going to turn that that way came back and watched the Eurovision Song Contest which I don't even know why we bother entering that because we could put in the best song in the world by the most famous artist in the world you know uh, Tom Jones uh, could enter that for us and we still wouldn't win or get any points because they just basically don't like us so that I'm just thinking that might be difficult on a seam. Um, so we'll have that like that, so that it's kind of interrupting there. So when I embroider that, I can embroider that line and follow that line round and it'll be a bit of an interruption, won't it? But having said that, it's still quite central. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just going to swap it over. Or, no, what I am going to do... I said I thought it was too big, this white cotton, didn't I? So I'm just going to leave it at that and cut that down there. And have it like that. Because it annoyed me that it was in the centre. Because I really don't like things being like that in the centre. So, yeah. So, that. so that's it. I'm going to pin that now. So I had a, an amazing birthday, I really did, I'm really, really lucky. And the thing is, I don't know what you think, but I think females always get more cards and presents than males because your friends buy your presents, don't they? And send you cards, whereas men don't do that. So... I'm quite happy I'm a girl when it's my birthday. Well, I'm quite happy I'm a girl anyway, but it's a bonus as well when it's your birthday because all your friends buy your presents so now what I need to do 
is just base this and begin embroidering on it. So, and that's it. So, I'm going to leave it there. It's 10 minutes. Um, and I could talk with glass eyes to sleep and all that. So, I'm going to turn off because I want to get this converted and everything and on the blog for you for today. Okay.